today is definitely one of those days. What's up guys? Today is just one of those days where it just it wasn't good. Um, I couldn't sleep until about 6.30 in the morning. So and then I had to get up again at 8-ish to get the birds up. And then I tried to sleep again, so I fell asleep around 8.30 until about 10.30. And then I tried to do things, and my body's just swollen, and it's not good. And I'm not feeling that great. And then I fell back asleep again until just recently. What time? I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> what time is it? It's, it's like almost 5 o'clock. So today's Vlogmas is going to be just hanging out because I've just been sleeping and I'm in pain and just even sitting down, it's, it's a little hard for me today. Um, I did take some, some anti-inflammatories and all that stuff. But yeah, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link down below to what I'm talking about. For those of you who are new, I do have um, autoimmune disease, but uh, there are good days and better days. So I figured, since I can't really do much and I really wanted to start my painting, because I have a canvas, I'm hoping two days will be enough to do my project because I'm doing uh, something for Pat. He doesn't watch my vlog, so that's okay. So, down to your questions. Because I asked you guys yesterday, I feel like um, <laughs> Jack Spoons, yesterday I asked you to leave me a question. So, I have like all this cat fur everywhere because Ramsey has been keeping me company and I have like eye schnitz all over, forgive me. Uh, but yeah, I want to answer your random questions because they're always fun and my goodness, I have like cat fur everywhere. <laughs> so, um, you guys, it's, it always puts me in a good mood to, to hang out with you guys. So, Sharon Shin asks, how did you start YouTube? I pretty much started YouTube for a silly reason, because I entered a contest in which there was like a really cute parrot pin to win, and I didn't win. So I researched so much, how can I get one of those? And the artist was selling it at a proper price, because it's all handmade. And I was like, I can't afford this. So what I did instead is I went and bought all that polymer clay and started making them. They weren't good. <laughs> they weren't, they're still not that good, but I made them. And I was like, you know what? What if people want to make accessories and they can't really buy them? Maybe I can show them how to make their own. So that's pretty much the birth of my channel. I just started making things because I figured if people can't afford it, they could just follow the tutorial and make it themselves. So yeah, that was pretty it. Um, Celeste Gonzalez asks, who are the artists that really inspire you to make arts slash crafts? Now, I don't really have a specific artist that I follow, and by the way, here's Ramses, he just came onto my lap. <laughs> He's such a cuddle kitty. Um, I don't have a specific artist that inspires me to create. The only thing that really inspires me to create is focus on things that I enjoy or things that I'm doing because I have artists that I love looking at their creations but I will nowhere near attempt what they make because it's way way like a very defined style and super advanced so people like Whisper Phillies I love her style she's just really really cute with her fillies so I'll leave a link for her down below when I get a chance here there be sculptures makes absolutely gorgeous dragon dra dragon <laughs> thousand plush the colors of her plushies and her miniature felty things are just so cute. Uh, these are artists that I really admire. Um, I'm trying to think who else has a pretty defined style. Umart's channel, he makes such magical creatures. He's so talented. So these guys just, because of their style and the way that they work, it's, it's not something that I copy or that inspires me to craft, but it's just a craft and style that I admire very very much because I don't feel like I have a set style I feel like I'm kind of like ditto just taking the shape of stuff <laughs> um, so I hope that that answers I know there's other questions but I'm gonna go to the next one Thea Wolf asks favorite Mario character it depends because it let me think let me let me think of a proper I, I don't want to say it depends I want to give you guys a proper answer because I would want to say Toad, especially from the old school cartoons. I don't know if you guys remember the old school cartoons, but Toad, he used to have this raspy voice and <coughs> now I can't do it. <laughs> but yeah, Toad. I used to love Toad. <coughs> now I ruined my voice and I didn't even bring water. 
So yeah, good job, Jackie, good job. Um, the Raven's Nest. Would you ever consider doing an opening nerdy mail video series? You know, since I'm reviving this channel, I think it would be really fun to do all my mail unboxings here because then it's way more intimate and it's the actual people who want to see it. So the Raven's Nest, yes, I would. And if you do want to know where my PO box is, uh, I'll leave a link also for that. There's a lot of links I have to post today. <laughs> I'll leave a link for that down below. That would be really fun because this vlog community here, I think, is, is just so fun and easygoing and very relaxing. So the answer would be yes. And I would want to do it, I think, on a weekly basis. That could be really fun. Nina Nicholson asks, Have you seen Ice Fantasy? Following it, on, following it now on Netflix. I actually never heard of it. So you know what? Since I'm not feeling well today and there's really nothing I could do, I'm going to check it out tonight, right after I post this vlog. Alicia, or Alicia, I'm, I hope I'm saying it right, Jackson, have you ever eaten grits? And if so, did you like them? What's grits? Maybe I have eaten them. Let me just check real quick. It looks yummy. What are grits? So it kind of looks like a mashed potato -y thing. Cheese grits. Uh, let me show you guys in case you don't know either, because I'm not familiar with this. Uh, can it focus? I don't think it can focus. <laughs> Okay, I'll just post the picture of it. It's like cheese. I don't know what grits are. I don't think I've ever had them, but they do look yummy. Unlike a lot of people, I know some people are like, I don't like specific texture, te textures. <laughs> I can't say textures. Some people don't like specific textures. Some people don't like specific flavors or gooiness or whatever. I love okra. If you guys know okra, it has like this slimy consistency, but it's so good. It's really yummy. So I don't have any issues with textures. The only thing I have issue with, in terms of food, is seafood. I just don't like seafood unless it's raw, so like sushi, or the opposite, deep fried. So kind of like fish fillet, deep fried fish fillet. But I don't like anything in between, so baked or seared, I just, I just can't, I can't stomach that flavor. Uh, Style Proud asks, how's your dad? Any more tasting videos in the future? My dad is... Thankfully out of the hospital now, so he's at home. Uh, his health is still so 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 there are days where he can't Really film but there are days where he's he's really in a good mood. So I should probably grab him on one of those days because I did get um, Contacted by some Japanese candy companies and they're like we would love to send you something for you and your dad I guess people really like that video So they, they asked to do that. So I have to ask him if he's willing to do that. Oh my gosh, the screen is, <laughs> is reflecting. I should probably put this a little lower. There you go. Um, okay, by the way, so many of you really like the journal. It's out now. I, I mean, I, I sent it out, so it, it should arrive to my Santa, secret Santa person by Friday. Okay, Mia the Unicorn. <laughs> That's a pretty cute name. What is the worst Christmas pe present you have ever gotten? And if there isn't one, what's the best you've ever gotten? The worst I've ever gotten? I don't know. Look, there's, first of all, Christmas is really not technically about presents, but we will talk about presents because everyone was like, it's the spirit of Christmas that counts. That's true. However, presents are kind of fun, right? So, <laughs> um, I can tell you the worst Christmas present I gave because I was so stupid and innocent that I didn't know what I did was a bad gift. This was when I was straight out of high school. So I had just finished high school and I'm innocent. I don't know anything about beauty products. I don't know anything about brand names, any of that stuff because we didn't have money. <laughs> we just didn't have money. So I didn't know any of these brands or anything like that. So one of the Christmas gifts I gave to one of my best friends, but back then we were already kind of not becoming friends anymore. We were just kind of drifting apart. You know, life just happens sometimes. So. She was really into brand names all of a sudden and all that stuff. So, and I know she loves like soaps and things like that. So I went to Walmart and found this really beautiful scented set of body soaps. I'm like, I'm gonna give this to her. But I don't know where or how. I had a gift bag with a symbol on it. I still don't know what that symbol is. But I seem to have had it, I think, somewhere in my closet, maybe my brother's girlfriend or something like that. So I used it as a gift bag. 
I just thought the symbol was cute. I really didn't know it was an actual brand name of an actual product. So I put the soap in that bag and I wrapped it. And I gave her, and I was like, oh, Merry Christmas. She's like, oh my god, you got something from this store. They have such amazing things. I love their soap. I love their prods. I'm like, whoops. <laughs> I didn't say anything. I was hoping she wouldn't notice. I really said nothing. That So that was probably the worst gift I have ever given. Best gift I've ever received. It's, it's funny because my, my birthday is t tomorrow. What is 21. My birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> My birthday is so close to Christmas that sometimes I get the birthmas gifts. So when I say gift, I guess it would have to go together because sometimes I just get birthmases. Um, so the best gift I had ever give uh, have ever received. There are a few because my friends and siblings know me so well, and I'm such an emotional person that when I get, look, I'm getting emotional. When I get a gift that, that touches my heart because I know that they've taken the effort to get it for me, I just start tearing. I'm tearing again. Because <laughs> I'm remembering. Because my brother actually already gave me my birthday present, which is an absolutely epic poster of All Might in three different forms. In his like mighty form, in his kid form, and in his decrepit form. And I love All Might so, so much. And then Pat recently also got me um, Midoriya, which is also another character from My Hero Academia. So these are these are really good gifts that uh, I remember. But one of the biggest ones that I remember also when we were teenagers was my older brother. Again, we didn't have much money, so he spent whatever allowance he had, and he bought me a birthday gift of a Dragon Ball original art. No, it wasn't original art, but art from Akira Toriyama, full book. And I was so touched because it was so unexpected. That was one of the earlier gifts that I remember and stayed with me and I remember even how I felt when I when I got that gift. So I hope, I hope that answers. I was the bad gift giver, <laughs> so in that case. Um, Erika Agonizante asks, am I a turtle? Today I am, I'm pretty turtle today. <laughs> How are we doing? Okay, we're still- I know this video is gonna be a little long, but I want to try and answer as much- as many questions as possible. Uh, Kirsten Hoops asks, what's your absolute favorite Christmas present you've ever got? So that one I answered previously, but she also asked, what is your absolute favorite Christmas present you ever gave? Oh my gosh. Honestly, I think the one I'm working on right now, right now, for Pat. He doesn't watch my vlogs, so which is fine. I think he's gonna love it. You guys are going to see me make it as of tomorrow. But yeah, I think that's going to be one of my favorite ones to give because it's going to be handmade and it's going to be custom and it's going to be about something that he likes. And you'll see. I'll show you exactly what I'm making. Let's see. Okay, Laura Flaherty says, if you were stranded on an island, what craft tools would you want to have with you that would help you survive? I would ideally bring the carving kit. You guys know the, the clay carving kit that is extreme. They also use for wood. I think that would be extremely useful and very helpful because carving things with pro and shaving, right? Because if you're carving and shaving, you can make, uh, what's it called? Kindling for your fire. So it would be much easier to light a fire much more quickly. You can start carving things to actually hold your water. And of course, when you're camping, one of the most important things is, you know, water water, fire, shelter. I think in that order. So these would probably be very useful. And, and they're sharp anyways, you could probably hunt with them. <laughs> that would be pretty pretty epic. Probably not very fun, but it would be pretty epic. Uh, let's see. Shadowstorm asks, what was your favorite cartoon as a kid? So the first part, my favorite cartoon as a kid was Ninja Turtles back then. Uh, the first one, where they were kind of like a little goofy and the fighting style was weird. Um, so that was definitely one of my favorites, but I also really liked Gargoyles. I loved Gargoyles, especially the theme song was so good. Did I read comics as a kid? No, I actually didn't. Are there any type of crafting, such as knitting, crochet, embroidery, that you won't do and why? I think I wouldn't do... I did try crochet, it wasn't my cup of tea. 
Knitting, probably not either. But what would I not try? Probably something that asks way too much attention to detail because I'm not good at, I don't like working on detail work. So I think I would not do maybe wood carving. I, I would like to try everything and then make my decision based on that. But yeah, that, those are the ones. I think I'll take two more questions. Uh, restart button, that won't, that won't count as the question. But yeah, restart question said, I read that someone else's comment saying nerdy mail. Please do that. So 10 on 10. I, I think I want to do a nerdy mail. Um, by the way, someone's like Jackie Bento box when I was packing yesterday's package. I thought that was cute. So that was Bercho Karofsky. Uh, let's see, two more questions. Ki Kirion says, what is your favorite mythological creature or animal? I, since I was a kid, I've loved dragons so much. I know it's very cliche, but I love dragons and also chimeras. Chimeras are very scary creatures, but at the same time, there's just something really cool about them that I would have to say chimeras are up there for me. But definitely dragons are one of my top favorites. And when I watched Merlin, I was like, oh my god, there's a dragon there almost every episode, so yes. And of course, Game of Thrones, you know that. Okay, makeup monster. So if I didn't answer some of these, I'll, I'll probably answer them in another video. Uh, let's see, makeup monster asks, do you watch The Walking Dead? And if you have, do you like it? Okay, so I did watch The Walking Dead, I think for three, three or four seasons. I lost count. But I got bored. I liked it at first and I really, I don't want to do any spoilers, but when there was this actual plot, we were like, we know where we can get rid of this whole virus thing, blah, blah, blah. And then that just didn't happen. And it kind of deviated from this afterwards. Those who watch it know what I'm saying. I just felt like it was going in circles. So I got really bored because you know that the zombies are there, but the zombies really aren't that big of a problem. It ended up being more the actual people the problem, which makes sense. Because if we were in like a post-apocalyptic era, I think people would be the biggest, the biggest issue because survival is so important. So everyone has to kind of look out for themselves. So yeah. So I hope you guys didn't mind this kind of video. This is the only thing I was up for today. And Ramsey's always knows when I'm not feeling well because he's right here. <laughs> Look at him. He's just so cute. He's so fluffy. I love him. So tomorrow, hopefully I can do way more and uh, we can finally start painting. I'm so excited to start painting and it is my birthday tomorrow. So I don't know what, what we're going to do for my birthday because we did do something last Saturday with my siblings. But I don't know if we're going to do anything really on the day of because everyone is always so busy with Christmas stuff. But I get to hang out with you guys. Maybe I'll do a live stream. We'll see. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.